Well, the Jordan Cove Natural Gas Pipeline Project has hit a snag. KRX 5 reporter Mike Kretz, he's going to join us in our newsroom with live. And he has the latest on the Jordan Cove Project. Mike? Hey, Katrin Logan. Yeah, thanks. The state of Oregon has slowed progress on the pipeline. It was last Monday the state's Department of Environmental Quality denied the pipeline project a water quality certification, citing concerns of water quality from construction and operation of the Pacific Connector Pipeline. The 36-inch diameter pipe would affect more than 352 bodies of water. I spoke with the community organizer who opposes the pipeline over the phone. He says the decision in Oregon could be viewed as a win. Uh, the Clean Water Act gives a lot of authority to the state to, to do the permitting under that particular section of the Clean Water Act. And so, yeah, that's a good thing from the point of view of people who don't want that pipeline built and who oppose the Jordan Cove project. The project's Calgary-based owners, Pembina Pipeline Corps, tells the Associated Press, quote, Pembina's management team is working to better understand this decision and its impacts and will communicate updates when appropriate, end quote. Mesa County Commissioner Rose Puglisi says commissioners expect the project to continue. Because of the importance of this project, not just to our economies, but also to um, geopolitical stabilization of our allies in um, Europe and Asia, we believe this project is very important and will continue to move forward. Now, it's important to note this decision is not binding or final. The Jordan Cove project will have the chance to provide more information to the Oregon Regulatory Committee. First on the Western Slope and live in the newsroom, I'm Mike Kretz.